What can you say about the game that the team just played? Well, they play with heart, they play with spirit. A little bit tired, been a long uh, couple of day, a couple of games down here just uh, starting out this weekend, but uh, they play with a lot of heart, a lot of conviction. What have you seen out of your team this weekend? Teamwork and communication gets better after the second game. What, what, what were some of your goals uh, coming into this tournament? What, what, what were some of your expectations? One team, one fight. Stay in the mix, play hard with each other, play for each other. Play for each other and just enjoy the game they like. Okay, so over this AAU season, uh, what, can you, what can you say about the way your team has performed? Have you guys won any tournaments, uh, things like that? How, how have you competed? Uh, we've competed well. Uh, we've gotten to a couple of semifinals. Unfortunately, we come up a little bit short, but it doesn't get the kids down. They play as hard as they can. That's all I can ask for. Now, talk a little bit about the strengths of your team, maybe some of the guys who are standouts for you. Um, I got a couple of guards, uh, Tristan Jackson, uh, AJ Casey, and Darion McNulty. They're kind of my heartbeat. So as they go, the team goes, they provide the tempo, they provide the heart. Um, Eric Palmer is another one. He's an up-and-coming uh, sophomore slash junior. John Harden, he's going to be real tough this year in the fifth region. So looking forward to see how he finished out the rest of the AAU season. Now talk a little bit about your, your coaching philosophy. What are some of the things that you, that you preach? Uh, in your approach to, to the game? Uh, I believe we are team oriented. Nobody's ahead of, the, nobody's above each other. So we play as one team. I'm a, te I'm a team player coach. I like my guys when they pass the ball, when they communicate and share the rock. Now I gotta ask you, what, what made you start coaching? And why are you still in it? Um, well, I won't get the long story, but the, uh, the kids at Fort Knox needed an outlet when their seasons are done. Uh, a lot of military folks come together, a lot of retirees come together and uh, put their sons in a position where they can get out of here and get looked at for colleges or be able to pursue the next level of basketball. Uh, that's what drives me to keep coaching. Now, going forward, what do you hope to, to get out of your team? At the end of the season, what do you hope to see? The ones who want to progress are progressing. The ones who want to work on their skills or work on their shot, I hope they're getting better, and I want to see how they improve come uh, basketball time for their respective schools.